Hey everybody, Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. We are live tonight on January 20th. I hope that you guys have had a fabulous weekend. I know that here in Wisconsin, it is super, super cold. <laughs> like it is down in the low single digits. So, brr. Hi Karen, hi Rhonda, welcome. Suzette, glad you guys could make it tonight. Here's Vicki popping in. Connie's coming in. So I'm going to show you some of the um, cards that I received this week while we're letting everybody get loaded on to the Facebook Live. I received this really pretty card in the mail. This is from my upline, Ann Hebner. And it was a congratulations on being number one in sales for the first quarter of the year. So that's kind of exciting, isn't it? I always love when she sends me cards. She's a very good stamper. Then I also received a beautiful card from Connie Billerman. And this uses um, the faux silk technique. Isn't that pretty? Oh, and Connie just popped on. I'm showing everybody the card you sent me. Yeah, it's gorgeous. And um, she is a member of my team. She's a discount shopper with me. And she was the winner on a 50% off item. And she chose the Well Said Framelit Bundle. So the stamp set and the bundle. And that was a fabulous choice, Connie, for a 50% off item. And then, hi Jenna, Sarah, yeah, Sarah's in Minnesota. It's really cold here too, like brr, freezy. Then I got this card. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is so cute. Yeah, this is from Carol Fox of Janesville, Wisconsin. And look at how it, um, it's a fun fold. So this pops down. This is the rest of the card. Can you guys see that? Yeah, pretty cool, huh? Hi, Francie. Welcome. And um, this was a thank you because she received a couple gifts from me. Carol is also on my team as a discount shopper. So you're very welcome. Thank you for the beautiful card. I love that stamp set. And speaking of that stamp set, you guys, if you're just popping on, please leave a message someplace telling me where you're coming from or something like that. Hi, Amy. Hi, Andrea. Hi, Claudia. Um, so that you can get entered in the drawing for commenting. So there's three ways to win prizes from me. One is to comment on my Facebook Live. The other way is to share the Facebook Live. So remember, sharing is caring. You guys can click on that little share button right now. Hi, Kate, Patty, um, and share my video. Whether you're watching now, live, later, after the live, you can still click on share. Um, or if you're watching on YouTube, you can click on share there too. And I really appreciate it. That really helps me out. Okay, hi, Lisa. Um, winners from the drawings last week. So I said there's three ways to win. One is to comment, one is to share, and the other way is to order through me. We have the Happiness Blooms Enamel Dots, and this is for commenting last week, and Brooke Van Buskirk of Menasha, Wisconsin is our big winner of that. So Brooke, I will see you, um, I will see you soon, and I will bring these along. And then our next winner for sharing my video, oh, yeah, we'll talk about that, Jenna that sampler in the back in just a minute. <laughs> um, this are the heart epoxy droplets. Can you guys see those? There we go, that looks a little better. And this is for sharing the video and the winner is Elaine Reback of Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. So Elaine, I will see you uh, tomorrow night at Stamp Club, so I will bring those along for you. And then, for placing an order is Kathy Sherlow of, and I don't know if it's Reading, Ohio or Reading, Ohio, but it's spelled Reading, R-E-A-D-I-N-G. Kathy is the big winner of the Flowering Desert stamp set. 
one of my all time favorites. So thank you for your order, for your sharing, for your commenting. Thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. I can't tell you how much I appreciate all of that. Okay. And let's just, um, I will just show you some of the things that I posted on my blog. I know some of you are my blog followers and some of you are not my blog followers. So we had this gorgeous card and I have to tell you, I posted this as part of a blog hop this week. That um, background in there is that lace embossing folder. Oh my gosh, it is so, so pretty. And so I made this card, and my daughter came over last weekend, Haley, and I said, Haley, what do you think of this card? And she's like, Mom, it's too plain. It needs something in the background. Well, that's before I put this embossing folder in. She's like, it's too plain. So then I added the, the embossing folder, and that was her idea. Yeah. So I'm glad I did because it really does make this card look so elegant. And then this is another card, and both of these are using the... Um, Lovely lipstick foil sheets, and isn't that just amazing? Just gorgeous. Let me see if I can get in the screen. <laughs> the um, foil sheets, they're free with your $50 order. So when your order reaches $50, you can choose these sheets, and I'm gonna bring them in. This is the Grapefruit Grove, and oh my gosh, is that not the coolest ever? And then of course, the lovely lipstick, which is also just beautiful. I've been having so much fun with this paper. We're gonna use a little bit of it again tonight. Um, so that's where these cards are coming from. And then ugh, I got rave reviews on this one. So this is from the Geared Up Garage Bundle. And I love, love, love the gears. I used the silver foil sheets to die cut those. Isn't that the coolest? And then we've got the um, maps, etc. embossing folder. I thought that was appropriate with a car, a card that has kind of cars and stuff in it, right? And then I was super excited because it says, you jumpstart my heart. And this is an anniversary card for my husband. Our anniversary isn't until July 4th, but I'm all over it. <laughs> got a jump start on that anniversary. And then um, last night I shared on my blog, I was in the Control Freaks blog hop, and here is a beautiful card using the Lasting Lily stamp set. And this is another free stamp set during celebration. And look at the definition on that flower. These distinctive stamps are just so, so beautiful. So um, yeah, you'll have to check those out. There's videos for all of these cards on my blog, www.astampabove.com. And Terry's husband loved the gear card. And um, Terry, were you the one that sent me pictures of a 64 and a half Mustang today? I think you were. Um, it was really cute because my first car was a 64 and a half Mustang. Um, my dad brought it home from California, and I, I absolutely loved it. So that's what I like. I like the gears in that geared-up garage, but I love the car because that's that's a muscle car, and I love it. Um, thanks, Jenna. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, Kathy says her anniversary is July 4th, too. Okay, so Kathy, did you get married in Las Vegas? Because we went to Las Vegas and got married. And that was 20 some years ago, like 20, I think this year will be our 26th anniversary. So yeah, yeah, Terry sent me the car pictures. So that was really cute. And that was um, a 64 and a half because it had the metal thing in there and the other ones don't or something like that. I don't know, I don't remember, but I was pretty young when I had that car. Okay, um, let's see, I'm gonna tell you what's going on this week. So, you know, uh, last week or the week before, I released my online class, Forever Lovely. And it is a fantastic, beautiful online class. If you order that bundle from me, um, which includes the stamp set and framelits, the ribbon, the designer series paper, and the heart epoxy droplets, these little jewels. Oh, I got Elaine's name covered up. These little jewels. If you order those from me, you'll get that online class for free. Otherwise, you can purchase it for $25. And it has been probably my most popular class. People are loving it. So that's exciting. And then um, I do have an online club. 
And let me see, I'm gonna grab my little box here. My online club consists of a card and an instruction sheet each month. So what you do is you place a $25 order before tax and shipping, and then you get a card made with the technique of the month. And so you get this plus the card. So you can take these and punch a hole in them, put a big ring in them, and you can come up with an entire great big huge pack of um, technique cards. This is a, this is a uh, what do you call that, a slider card? I don't even, oh. Spinner card, it says right on the front. <laughs> oh. um, the Eclipse technique, that was really cool. So if you're interested in getting more information about that online club, this was the basket weave technique. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Um, you can find that information in the right-hand column on my blog, I think. If it's not there, it's down on every blog post right above my signature. There's some links. Okay. Uh, bye, Janny. Sorry you can't stay tonight, but I'll still be here at 2 a.m. Not live, mind you. <laughs> I just plugged my phone in. for So for those of you that are always helping me with that, thank you very much. Um, I did just get it plugged in. And then, what else do I have? Don't forget I have orders going in every Thursday. I have more and more people taking advantage of that. I know there are some people who don't like to use credit cards online, some people that just don't feel comfortable enough online to place orders. You can always call me with your order. And for those of you that do call me with your order, stop apologizing for calling me. Oh my, that's what I'm here for. Everybody's like, oh, I'm so sorry for bothering you. No! You call me. <laughs> it's kind of cute. Um, don't forget to share my video. And, oh, I have a correction to make. So I put out a tip video, my Wednesday tip video and joke of the week. You can find those on my blog. But I put out a tip video answering a whole bunch of questions that I've gotten about the Discount Shopper kit. And I found uh, somebody messaged me who is a math teacher and said, yeah, I don't think you're right. I don't think this is right. And, and it's a common um, non-retail person mistake that I made. So I never worked retail. I was a hostess and a dishwasher and a waitress. And I did a whole bunch of things. I actually was even a stockbroker at one time. But I've never worked retail. So <laughs> I made a mistake. What I said was, well, let me tell you the correct part, part first. With, um, if, if Stampin' Up! runs a sale for 25% for off and you are a discount shopper on my team, you get an additional 20% off the sale price. And what I said originally was that you get to add 20% to the 25 and then you get 45% off. And that's not right. You get the 25% sale then you get 20% more off on the sale price. So I just wanted to clarify that because I didn't realize that what I was saying was wrong, but it was. So lots of new um, discount shoppers on my team this week. I have been welcoming people right and left, and that has been absolutely fabulous. Um, I'm so glad that you guys are joining. I see a lot of you on here tonight watching, so that's good. And oh, Jean, is it Jean or Jeannie? She says it's her first Facebook Live. Where are you coming to us from, Jean? And Noreen is on. Excellent. Um, so welcome to my new discount shoppers. Whether you want to just take advantage of that discount or whether you want to um, make a business out of this, be a business builder. Um, okay, Pamela is asking, what is a discount shopper? Right now, Pamela, we have... Um, Claudia says it sounds like 45% off to her. Well, it's not really, but kind of, but not really. Um, so Pamela, a discount shopper, we have a promotion going on right now during celebration that lasts until the end of March. For $99, you get to choose $175 worth of product of your choice. You get to pick it all out. For $99 plus tax if you have tax in your state. There's no shipping fees. You get a paper pumpkin kit. That's another $20 added on to the $175 value. Um, and, and then with your future orders, you get a 20% discount, minimum 20% discount on all future orders. So that's what a discount shopper kit is. And um, it is the best deal of the year. Amazing deal. So if you have any questions, go to my blog 
www.astampabove.com. In the right hand column, you just scroll down and you find $99 kit and you will see all the details there. There's even a video to show you how to order it. It's super easy. Yeah, Kathy Adams says, it's a great deal. Kathy's one of my newbies. She's one of my new discount shoppers. Um, tonight at 8 p.m., I am going live with a blog hop with the Creative Inking Crew. And I have some really cute Valentine cards to show you on there. So you'll have to, I'll share them on my Facebook page tomorrow. But if you want to see them tonight, you can, um, you can check that out on my blog. Somebody just said, don't forget about option number two. Yeah, option one is $99 for the starter kit. Option two, when you pay $129, you get, hang on, you can get this fabulous tote bag. And this is a beautiful tote bag. has a Stampin' Up logo on it. Um, it's got this gorgeous tag. I know, some, some, sometimes these aren't important, but I like these things. The inside has a Velcro portion you can take in and out, so you can section it off. For $129, you can add this bag to your kit. So you can either get option one without the bag is $99, choose $175 in product, or you can get option number two is $129, choose $175 in product, and you get this bag valued at $50. So thank you for mentioning that. Um, so Jenna, I think it was Jenna who said, ooh, I love that sampler behind you. So do you see this? Let me, this is weird. Do you see the sampler right here? I would love to bring it closer and show it to you, but I can't. So I am the guest tutorial author on Split Coast Stampers on Wednesday, and that's my project. Whoops, this is hard because I'm backwards here. That's my project. So I'm going to show everybody how to make that. You'll also find all the information on my blog, so that's cool. Um, it was really fun and easy to make, too, so you'll have to check that out. If you don't know what Split Coast Stampers is, just visit www.splitcoast.com stampers.com. It is the biggest stamping website in the world and I've been a member of it for a long time. I've done several guest tutorials for them and um, it's an awesome community. Okay, um, Friday I have a blog hop coming out with my Totally Techniques Global blog hoppers and we are gonna use the baby wipe technique. For those of you that have been stamping for a long time, I'm sure you've used the baby wipe technique too. But I found kind of an interesting way to do it. So I hope you'll check that out. That'll go live at 3 p.m. Central Time on Friday on my blog. And what else? I have another online class coming out in February. It'll go live on February 8th. And it is the Butterfly Gala Bundle that's on page 35 in the Occasions Mini Catalog. Now, if you order the Butterfly Gala Bundle, the sequins, the designer paper, and the flax ribbon, that qualifies you to get that online class for free. So even if you order it now, I will go back into my orders and see who's ordered that bundle, and I will send you this online class for free um, after February 8th when I have that ready to go. So I think this is going to be, I just, I haven't started my cards yet, but I can't hardly wait because I have made some cards with the Butterfly Gala, and it is amazing. Okay, um... Uh, oh, this week, I'm going to be sharing, this is the Beauty Abounds stamp set. This is a really, really pretty stamp set. There's also a set of matching framelits, I'm pretty sure. And um, I'm going to be making a card on my Facebook VIP group. Now, I've been popping in there live. It's nothing that's scheduled. I just all of a sudden will pop in live and show some type of project. Um, they're exclusive projects. They'll never be posted to my regular Facebook page, to my blog. I'll never post them any place. Um, so they're exclusive projects just for my VIPs. And I also give away prizes. So I had between four dollars and $500 worth of Stampin' Up! product that I have given away between... it's We started in December and we still have some stuff left to give away in my box. So um, I will be doing that 
either tomorrow or Tuesday. I'm going to try to pop in live in that VIP group at least once a week to share something fun with you and, you know, give away stuff because I love giving away stuff. So how do you find the VIP live? Um, Terry, you're one of my discount shoppers. So if you want to private message me, I can get you into that group. Um, I think you're, I think you're already in there. And Sarah says VIP is so fun. It is fun. You have to have placed an order with me to get into the VIP group. And, um, it is an exclusive group and it's a reward for my customers that order from me. Okay. I think we're ready to get started. Um, I don't think I have anything else that I need to share with you. Let me move some of the stuff out of my way. So, and then these are the prizes. I'm going to put them right here. If I come back on and say, oh my gosh, where did the prizes go? <laughs> oh, one of my projects tonight almost didn't happen. And the reason is that, um, I lost the stamp set. Like I couldn't find it any place. And where did I find the, oh, <laughs> I can't even remember where I found it. <laughs> so what do you guys do when you lose something? So I thought about that. It's like the first thing that I do when I lose something is I clean up my room. Because you know it's there someplace, right? And um, yeah, Robin, there is a VIP live. It's on my VIP Facebook group. If you've ordered from me, you should have gotten an invitation to that group. If you need another invitation, just private message me. Um, but the lives are not scheduled. They're just random. I will just pop on live whenever. So is Split Coast Stampers exclusive to Stampin' Up? No, it's actually not. But it was started by Stampin' Up demonstrators, and the majority of the product on there is Stampin' Up. So just so you know that. Um, yeah, so when I lose a stamp set, I clean. I clean and clean and clean. And I cleaned everything. I looked everywhere. I looked everywhere three times. I looked everywhere. I've got bins packed up and ready to go because I have stamp clubs starting tomorrow night. I've got um, a technique club next week, and I've got that ready to go out to um, be created, well, to be made, and all kinds of stuff going on in here. So I couldn't find the stamp set. I'm like, oh my gosh, I just made these projects and now I need this stamp set. I can't find it any place. And I was so beyond frustrated. Well, here I have a packet made up for my assistant to give to her to make swap cards for me because I will be going to Michigan in February for a leadership conference. And I need 30 swap cards. And that's where my stamp set was. It was in that packet to go out with her. Ugh. I was so thankful. Okay, so I'm going to turn our camera around. And um, if you guys get motion sickness, please close your eyes because this will be kind of like rah, until I get it situated. And I'll let you know when I do and you can open your eyes back up. Oh, somebody just said, I've gone through the trash. I went through my garbage can. Don't kid yourself all the way to the bottom of it looking for that stamp set. So, yeah, I'm, I'm totally was dumpster, dumpster diving today. Hi, Kathy. <laughs> Pokey tool rolled in the trash. Oh, yeah, I've thrown stuff away like that, too. And I have this bad habit. Here's what I do, and I'm, I'm doing it right now. So here's my garbage can, and I set stuff on top of it because it's handy, and it's another area that I can, you know, set stuff on. And then I was worried that I threw it away or it fell in there and I didn't realize it. Um, Marilyn's asking what time on Wednesday will I be doing my demonstration on split coast stampers? That's not a live demonstration. It's going to be posted by the, um, split coast stampers, um, staff. So they will post it. I'm sure first thing in the morning, and then it'll just be available. There's a video with it and a written picture tutorial too, but it'll just be on the website. Um, is Steve in tonight? Actually, I think he might have just gotten home. He went to pick up one of the kids. And um, that sounds kind of weird. I can't really say too much about it. But, um, yeah, they weren't in jail or anything. <laughs> yeah, our kids don't, don't do things like that. Well, not yet anyways. <laughs> you never know what them darn kids are going to do, do ya? <laughs> okay, um, I'm going to flip my phone around so we can start stamping. So close your eyes if you get motion sickness. And if we get disconnected, you're just going to have to come back onto my page. 
because sometimes that does happen. And I need to flip, hang on, there we go. I need to flip my mirroring around and take off that brightness and get my phone straight. Okay, so here comes my ribbon. I've told you guys about my ribbon before, haven't I? This is my ribbon that I tape onto my tabletop so that I don't get too far down in my frame. So you guys can't see what I'm doing because I had a problem with that for a while. Okay, now I'm gonna get me set up on my um, page. And first off, I've got a cute little Valentine card for you guys. And then I've got a card and a 3D project, and I think you're gonna just love it because it is stinking adorable. Okay, hang on a second. Here comes all the goodies. Okay, let me get myself, let me find myself on Facebook Live so I can still see your comments. Oh, oh, there we go, okay. And there we go, all right. Here comes this. I'm gonna also bring this back out and this and my bow tire. Okay, super duper duper cute card for you. I'm kind of giddy about it because it's so adorable. Here comes all our bits and pieces. So let me get this moved out of the way. We're gonna be using the Hey Love stamp set again combined with the Meant to Be. This is like the most amazing Valentine set because there's so many different elements with it. It also comes with a big, um, you can get it together with a big set of framelits. Love, love, love. Oh, and I don't have those framelits out. Hang on, let me, uh, are those packed up to go with my assistant? They are not. Hang on, you guys, I'm gonna get those framelits out. They have to be in my drawer here someplace, maybe. Cross your fingers, I'm not finding them. Uh, they're here someplace. Oh, I know, I think I know where they are. I think they're in the other bin for tonight, maybe. Yep, they were. Okay, so, oh, here we go. Here's our framelits. So I always take my framelits, well I don't always, when I have time I do it, because sometimes it can you know, get to be a, quite a time consuming thing. But these are all of the die cuts with these framelits. You've got this cute little edge here. That's fantastic. And hang on, I've gotta get this opened up so I can see the comments. I forgot to do that. There we go. I missed anybody? Yeah, okay. And all of these hearts, all of these hearts. Then you've got these little stitched hearts that don't actually cut out, but they cut the stitches in. This heart, and then all of these beauties. Oh my gosh, they're so, so pretty, right? Okay, so that's what's in the set of framelits. And I... Mary, that's funny. Mary's son is listening. He asked his mom if she found her pokey tool. <laughs> and she did. We're going to use the, um, uh, what is this called? Oh my gosh, I just drew a blank on here and I didn't write it down. All My Love. I think it's called All My Love Designer Series Paper. I've been using it like a maniac and now I can't remember what it's called. And some of the lovely lipstick foil sheets. My card base here is a thick Whisper White. It's four and a quarter by 11, and I've already scored it at five and a half. Now, I do have all the dimensions for the projects tonight typed up, and I will be um, sharing those along with posting this video to the Facebook page that you're on right now. Um, I will post all that information above the video. So you'll have all the dimensions. If you're stamping tonight, you can recreate everything and life will be good. Okay. Huh. I don't... Oh, here's my white scrap. I'm like, where's my white scrap? All right. Vicki says, they got about six inches of snow last night. Extremely windy and cold. It is really cold here. Like, really cold. It took my breath away. I went to the, Steve took me over to the store tonight before he went to pick up one of the kids, not from jail. <laughs> and um, yeah. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do 
has stamped that cute little skunk. And then I'm using the second to the smallest, I think this is the second to the smallest, stitched shape framelit. And I will take this to my Big Shot and I will die cut it. And through the magic of TV, I've already done that. Okay, then I've got Stampin' Blends here. And I can't quite remember. Here's, I'll, I'll test it out on this. I don't remember if I used the dark one. I think I used the dark one. So I'm using the Dark Smoky Slate marker. And I'm just gonna color in my little skunk. And you have to be careful with this one little heart right here. Can you guys see that? Uh, yeah. It's one little heart right here that you don't color that in. Um, skunks are black, but when I put the black, when I tried to color it with black, it didn't look very good because it was too dark and you lost all your definition. So I think this really dark gray will work just fine for my little skunky dude. I love this guy. So, so cute. Yep, I hear Steve in the other room and I hear Stephanie. So... Everybody made it back safely, that's good. And then that little black nose. And then I brought in my uh, Real Red Dark and I colored these little hearts. And that just adds that really cute pop of color. Hi Sharon Jones, welcome. Okay, then I took some of the foil paper and I die cut a scalloped image out of it and we're going to oh <laughs> did you guys see what I did Megan <laughs> I'm coloring the wrong skunk okay I'm gonna die cut this really quick <laughs> I'm so distracted there's so many things going on around here I need to pay attention hang on you guys oh my gosh that's just too funny really concentrating so I would do a good job for you <laughs> that is funny okay sometimes these you got to push on them a little bit to get them to start popping out so just be gentle with them you know they're only cardstock there we go <laughs> I'll save this one for later okay next I'm going to get out my liquid glue <laughs> thanks Megan yeah coloring the wrong skunk huh appreciate it and this just peeks out, whoops, this just peeks out a little bit behind here. So it's a really tiny little embellishment. Then I took this die and I ran that through. Oh my gosh, it's my favorite one. <gasps> On the foil sheets, isn't that gorgeous? Okay, and where's my pokey tool right here? Is my, uh, hang on, I gotta see if my, nope, once again, my um oh my goodness this isn't cut out all the way huh that's strange let's see what's gonna happen here oh you know what I'm not gonna ruin this sorry guys I thought that we were good to go I'm gonna run this back through and you know that you can pop these right back into your dies let me get this piece out of the way Pop these right back into your dies. You can feel them, like fit right in there. I'm gonna run this through again because it's not letting loose like it should. I haven't had any problems with this die at all until this point, and I've used it quite a bit. So much for die cutting stuff ahead of time, huh? Right. Okay, here we go. And then I'm gonna bring in my Big Shot die brush because it's amazing. Did you see I just turned it upside down and threw bits all over the place? Here's some cute hearts. These hearts are really nice to use for something else too. There, now that's better. See how easy that fell out of there? It was just crazy. <gasps> Isn't that so pretty? Yeah, I love it. I'm gonna bring out these little hearts. Okay, let me get this out of the way. I'll dust off my desk here in a minute. <laughs> Yeah, all the little bits fell out. Don't turn your box upside down. That doesn't work out so good for any of us. Okay, here we go. The other thing that I did, you guys, is I used this edge framelit. 
and I cut out the bottom edge of my designer series paper, okay? We're gonna do just a tiny bit of stamping. Did you see where that white, didn't I have a little white piece here someplace? Are you kidding me? Oh, here it is. Oh, I was like, what the heck is going on tonight? All right, I'm gonna take the stinking sweet and I'm gonna stamp that, oh, you know what? Before we stamp, we're gonna punch. And I've got my banner triple punch in here. This piece, by the way, is um, one and a half by two and three quarters. So we're gonna just pop this down in here, punch that out. The foil piece is a quarter of an inch bigger. There we go, stinking sweet. And I think I just stuck my hand, my finger in the ink. So we'll just get out the baby wipe here. Oh, maybe not. Anyways, it'll be ready. Um, we're gonna glue this to this other layer. And we can't, well we could use the punch to cut out the banner end, but we're not going to. Because the punch fits one, one and a half, and two inch wide cardstock in it. And this is one and three quarters. So I'm just gonna come in here and cut some of this off. And then I'm gonna come right up the middle. I wanna try to kinda get the same border that I have on the sides right here. Does that make sense? I think you guys get what I mean. Oh, I did pretty darn good, didn't I? I have a professional. <laughs> I love to say that. Okay, then we're gonna take these little hearts that fell out of that die and we're gonna add a few back here. So I'm just putting little dots of glue. I'm gonna have to find out from my Stampin' Up! friends who do these um, live videos why my on my computer my my comments don't roll through. So every once in a while, oh, that's too much glue. Every once in a while, I have to move up. I don't have any left. Move up my comments because I can't see what you guys are saying. And I don't know, that's something that just developed the last, I don't know, three or four times I've been live. I don't know why it's doing that. Like, how come it's not keeping up with the comments? Is Steve on here? Did he pop on? I told him everybody, oh, look, I'm home and in the kitchen if you care. <laughs> I care. He is home. Okay, then we're going to take this and we're going to add this right to the top of our designer paper layer. Just like this. Isn't that a cute little banner? It's so bright and colorful. I love, love, love it. And these little hearts, I'm gonna bring in my silicone mat and my glue. You can see I have a whole bunch of glue on here from last time, so now I can show you. Look at how the glue just rubs right off of there. Now I can take this into the sink and um, rub this off, but look at it, it just comes right off. The glue comes off after it's dried. These are really, really cool. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna flip it over to the side that doesn't have glue all over it and bring in a sponge. And then I'm gonna set this right down here at the bottom, just like this. Ah, isn't that cute? Okay, then I'm gonna grab a few dimensionals Let's get this out of here. Whoops. Ugh. Everything's sticking to me. So here we go. We'll put a couple dimensionals on the back of this layer. And put this right over here. I want it to be right under my banner. Isn't that cute? Super cute. Okay, now before we put that on the front of our card, I'm going to take the Happy Valentine's Day from the Meant to Be set, and I'm gonna stamp that right inside my card. And then I also want 
one of these little hearts in there because because why wouldn't you put one of these hearts in there? Hang on, it's got a little hair on it. There we go. Okay. One more thing to do to this after we get it glued on just to finish it off. Oh, this piece, by the way, this was four by five and a half. And then I did this die down here and then you have to trim it to five and a quarter. The bow jig. Now my friend Denise's husband makes these and they're gone for the winter. So you, I can't get you any of these right now, but she'll be back. I, I just wrapped this around three times. She'll be back in March or April. And so if you want to contact me then, if you'd like to buy one, I can certainly hook you up with her. Um, they're inexpensive. They're fabulous. I use this all the time. It gives you the cutest, best bows ever. Look at that. Now with the triple, if you kind of smoosh it like this, it kind of pops out and then you have all these loops. And then did you know that you can also curl, like you're curling ribbon, you can curl these and it makes them lay really nice. Grab my mini glue dots and I'm gonna put this right here, right in the middle. I wadded up my mini glue dot. You see how I did that? I don't like it sticking out from under my bows if I use like linen thread or um, baker's twine. Isn't that cute, you guys? That foil paper is amazing. And again, that's a free product. You get four sheets of each color Grapefruit Grove, that like metallic iridescent looking stuff or whatever you want to call it, hologramish, And then four sheets of lovely lipstick in 12 by 12 for free during celebration. Pretty cool. Okay, let me get this cleaned up. What are you guys drinking tonight? Oh, Candy, I'm sorry your screen is freezing up. That is a problem on your end with your internet service, and I'm so sorry that's happening because I know it's very frustrating. I've got really good high-powered internet service here. Like, I had them come, and I've got, like, I can't remember what they called it. It was, like, 100. My bandwidth got increased from, I don't know, 25 to 100 or something like that, so... I had to pay a little bit more for it, but it's totally worth it so I don't have to deal with all the frustration. And I know lots of places, you just don't even have a choice. You have a choice on your um, internet service, what, how strong it is or whatever. I would, oh, I feel bad for you guys. I do a lot, I, you know, I work a lot. Oops, I'll just throw this in here. I work a lot on the internet and, and I need it to be good or I would be wasting so much time. Okay, get my little mess cleaned up, put this away. Oh, I almost forgot to show this to you. Remember this little cutie patootie? <gasps> yeah, I made this with the ape card and I don't have any ape cards because I think I sent them all out. <laughs> I've been sending them out. Um, yeah, isn't that cute? That was on one of my earlier videos. I think this is from my blog. So you can find all the directions in a video tutorial for that on my blog. Okay, next project is a two-parter. I'm going to be using the Needlepoint Nook Designer Series paper. And isn't that just so, so pretty? Hang on, I've got a stray stamp here that I need to get put away. And I'll bring in all the supplies here. I am actually drinking Pepsi tonight. I still haven't given it up. But um, I will soon. I'm just not ready yet. <laughs> you know, it's kind of like an alcoholic with a beer or something. I don't know. Just not ready to do it. It's a lot of work. <laughs> And I know that I'm going to get some major headaches. And um, yeah, I'll deal with that when it comes. Okay, we are going to do the card first. Here's the matching stamp set. And I have a card and a little, um, a little purse, actually. I think you guys are going to love. 
this stamp set I found to be extremely easy to use and super cool. Like, I really loved it. Okay, that's for the next project. For right now, oh, we're gonna put this back in here. We're gonna make the card, because the card is super cute. But isn't this paper just beautiful? So Needlepoint has made a comeback. It's, it's extremely popular right now again. Um, and all of these patterns are Needlepoint. Even these little butterflies are Needlepoint. You saw, I made some really cool cards with those for um, my blog too. Um, so anyways, this is the paper that we're using. And I'm just gonna set that up back there. This is the stamp set. And here are the framelits. And I took all of the stamps in here and put them on a piece of Whisper White cardstock. If you guys aren't using Whisper White cardstock, I really recommend that you get some. Our images, and especially these distinctive images, like this looks absolutely real. Those images do not stamp well on a lesser quality cardstock. If you're using like Nina Bright or something like that, that cardstock is too porous. You want to use Whisper White. Our Whisper White has like a, a some type of special coating that makes your ink look phenomenal. So even if you're just going to use it for the front of your cards, get some Whisper White if you don't have some. I can't say enough about that. And then here's the matching framelits. So I love these little flowers because you the stamp has three flowers on it. You stamp it and then the die has all three flowers in it so you can die cut them all at once and it was super easy. Then we have this which is two pieces. We've got this big flower here and then we have this leaf image that goes behind it and that was really easy to do. We have a smaller flower the little leaf, this label, these little things, I'm not really quite sure what they are, but I'll figure out something to do with them. And then look at these stitched images. <gasps> Isn't this beautiful? And I'm pretty sure that this punch, which is the, I think it's called the Lovely Label Punch, matches this. So you can, you can die cut the little stitched images into it and then you can punch it out and it's gonna be gorgeous. We also have the, the stitching for the edges of your layers. This is, this is my favorite, I love this. And I love this label too. Okay, so now that you're familiar with the needle and thread and the needle point elements, stamp set and framelits, let's get to work. I really like this card. I, I know you guys are gonna love it because it's pretty simple but it's really kind of spectacular. Okay, I have a scrap of Berry Burst. Actually, is this a scrap? No, this isn't a scrap, but it's cut wrong. You know what? I bet you, hang on a second, I'm gonna trim this. This piece, I bet you I put my piece that I needed to use back in the drawer. So this needs to be three and a quarter by three and three quarters three and a quarter. Oh, that is the size. Is that right? That's not right. I measured wrong. Hang on. It needs to be three by three and three quarters. Let me change that so I don't give you guys the wrong measurements. There we go. Okay. I got my little cheat sheet right here in front of me. Okay, so three by three and three quarters. I've got a scrap of Whisper White and a piece of the Needlepoint Nook Designer Series paper. And this piece is three and three quarters by four and a half. And that is the right size. I had to check because it's like, what the heck is going on? All right, I'm going to, oh, Whisper White Thick Card Base, same as the last one, four and a quarter by 11, scored at five and a half. We're gonna do a little bit of stamping First, we're gonna stamp on the front. I'm using Berry Burst ink. And there's these two little lines of like stitching that are super cute. And I'm going to stamp those. I'm gonna to have to stand up so I can try and get this straight. Right here like this. And right like this. And isn't that cute? 
it's just a really neat little element to put on your card. Here we go again. Oh, that's really straight. <laughs> I was worried about that. Okay, so I've done that. And then on the inside of our card, because you know, I always like the inside decorated, we are going to take the big flower and we are going to, I put a little mark on my flower. So I've got a little arrow going that way, meaning that I should hold this like this. And I'm gonna stamp this right here. And then I'm gonna bring in the Mossy Meadow ink. And I'm going to ink this up and I've got another little arrow right here saying that I should hold it like this. It's just a good idea. It'll save you the time of trying to figure out mm, where, what, what, how. And oops, let me get my cleaner out. Did you see I squished that in there really too much? And I don't want that ink on the piece that's in the middle here. So let's try that again. That looks much better. You don't want to squish this down too hard because you'll get that ink on the middle piece on your flower. Look at how pretty that is. Yeah. Okay, let's move these out of the way. Um, I have a couple more things that we need to stamp here. We are going to stamp in Memento Black Ink. We need a label. Um, where's my framelits? Here they are. We're going to be using this label framelit. We're going to be using this stitched framelit. And we're going to be using the little... Here's those three flowers I was talking about. They're just precious, okay? So we're gonna stamp our three flowers in Berry Burst. I got a little bit of edge there, don't worry about it. We're gonna cut it off. And then we're gonna stamp this in black. I've got Memento Black there. Sending you happiness and love. We're gonna die cut this. And you notice I've got washi tape on here. That's because this is a, such a little thing that I've stamped on. I wanna make sure I can keep it in place. This I don't worry about so much. We're gonna put these dies on here and we're gonna take that to the big shot and we're gonna die cut it. We're gonna put this on here and I'm gonna show you that. So hang on, I'm gonna bring my big shot in here. Now, for these stitch shapes where you're not actually cutting anything out, but we're just putting the stitching image on your layer, you do it just like you would for a framelit. So I've got my magnetic platform, two cutting pads in here, and I'm going to throw this right on there in the middle of that berry burst layer. This is so, so, so cool. <gasps> Thank you, Denise, for sharing because you care. I so appreciate it. Hate it when it gets stuck on there like it. It's like, come on. And then you got the magnetic plate holding it too. <laughs> Everything's fighting against you. Okay, you guys, are you ready for this? <gasps> Isn't that gorgeous? So, so pretty. I love, love, love this image. Okay, so we've got that done. And then. Let's see, through the magic of TV, I've already die cut these other ones. The only thing I need to do is stamp on my label here, because I stamped it here, but I'm not gonna die cut that, because I've already, I've already got one die cut for us. All right, so we're gonna have to get this straight now. This is a lot of pressure. <laughs> Are you guys ready? Oh, thank you, somebody just said beautiful nails. Um. I need to get my nails done. I was gonna go do that tomorrow, but now I think I have some other things I'm gonna do. Oh, did I get that on there good? Nope, look it, I got edges, meh. Okay, that's why they make two sides, right? Clean my stamp off, try that again. That didn't go so good for me. Here we go. This is gonna be better. Yay! Okay. Then we've got these little buggers. 
All right, let me put my framelits away so I don't lose them. We all know what that's like, right? Oh, so frustrating. And did anybody see my dimensionals? Well, I've got more. I don't know what I did with them. Here's some. So I'm going to put dimensional here and a dimensional here. This is our back side. Then I'm going to bring in my little tiny baby dimensionals, if I can find them. And they are right here. And I'm going to put those on the backs of these flowers. Oh, I'm getting lots of funny somethings. <laughs> um, here we go. Got this. And this. And this one. Okay, and I think we're ready to assemble our card. So, I'm going to bring this in. We're going to take this needlepoint nook designer series paper. And we're going to put that right on the front. And I'm just centering it. Then we're going to come in with dimensionals on this. And this is just, like I said, this is my all-time favorite part. I love it. Hi, Bonnie Brown. So glad you could join us. Sue Marie is on tonight. Mary Lee. Yeah, this paper, is that what you're talking about? These are all tiny, tiny little needlepoint flowers and leafy things. And little crosses. And oh, it's so pretty. Okay, here we go. This is going to go right in the middle. Isn't that stunning? Now, I chose my color palette based on the colors that are in the designer series paper. And um, Berry Burst was one of them. So that's how I chose which colors I was gonna use. When I'm done with this card um, and the next project, I will show you another color, set of colors, whoops, colors that I made using this paper in the same layout because I've got a Highland Heather one also to share with you. Gosh, I can't hardly pick these up. Okay, now my feed is, is, is going through fine on my laptop, so that's good. Because I don't like it when I can't keep up with your comments. Hi, Bonnie Jo. Welcome. Thanks, Rhonda. Rhonda said beautiful. Okay, here comes my label. And I'm going to put this right about here. And then I'm going to bring in these little flowers and this little flower. I'm kind of tucking them so they go over the top of this label. This one I'm going to kind of push under. Just like that. <clears throat> then I've got some of our, our Share What You Love Artisan Pearls, and I'm going to bring in yellow. Whoops, that stuck to my finger and not my flower. The little yellow ones and put them in the center. I've got a glue bottle on one arm and um, dimensionals sticking to me on the other arm. I'm just that lovable. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, can you see those? Those are the little things that add so much to your project. Last but not least, I am going to take some of this um, green twine, and this is also part of this bundle. I'm gonna tie a little bow here. I could use my bow jig, but this is this is pretty a pretty easy little bow, maybe. It's gonna make a liar out of me yet. And I want it to be pretty little. Just like that. And then I'm going to cut this off. Again, we're going to take our mini glue dots and I'm going to roll one of these up. I'm going to put it right in the middle of this, oops, right in the middle of this little flower right here. I'm going to go right on there. I'm going to trim this off just a little bit more. I didn't even have to curl this because it's on this roll, so it's kind of curly already. What do you guys think? Is this not the prettiest little card ever? I love the bold berry burst colors. 
like crazy pretty. Oh, yeah. Can I zoom in? No, I can't zoom in on a Facebook Live. I'm sorry. It It's just, it's never a good idea. But I can hold it up so you can see it. You'll also find some pictures I will have on my blog. By the way, these projects, projects are going to be posted on um, Tuesday this week. I'm kind of in a time crunch, and I already have a blog post that's going live right now <laughs> on my blog, so I won't post this right on the back of it. So you'll find all of these projects um, and the video and everything posted on my blog on Tuesday. I always used to do Tuesdays, and then I started doing it on Sunday night so you guys could have it right away, but I'll put the dimensions for everything in above the description on Facebook so you guys can have that um, tonight. Okay, now, this I'm super excited about too. Let me show you. We're gonna make this cute little purse. And I know I showed you a purse, I don't remember if it was last week or the week before, that was just adorable. Well, this is a different purse, and I think you're gonna love it. So I started out, oh, hang on, my little cheat sheet fell over. I started out with a piece of the designer series paper, and I'm using the same so it'll match this card, okay? Um, this is seven by seven, and I'm gonna put this in my paper trimmer and I'm going to score it. Let me think about this for a minute. I'm going to score it at two and seven eighths and four and an eighth. Then I'm going to turn it and we're going to score at one and a half and five and a half. And I think Linda Bunce is on here tonight. If you are Linda, this is the card, or this is the little purse that you sent me, and I just modified it a little bit to make it a touch bigger. I wanted it to be just a little bit larger, so I took the purse that she sent me as a gift, bless her, and I made it, I adjusted the measurements to make it a little bit bigger. So we're gonna use our bone folder to get a good, crisp, burnished edge on all of these score lines. And next what we're going to do, there's no cutting, there's no weird stuff on this. It's a pretty straightforward um, little purse. We're going to take and fold this in. And then, did you guys see where did my glue go? Oh, it's on the floor because it's stuck to my sleeve. <laughs> okay, then, so we've got, we've got our score lines right here, okay? So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna glue part of this down. And I'm gonna put some glue over here and a little bit of glue here. A little bit of glue here and a little bit of glue here. You don't want this glue on the outside edge to go too far, okay? So maybe just like an inch. A little bit of glue here. This glue bottle's making me very angry. It's not coming out. Well, not really angry. I mean, like, I'm not going to hit anybody or anything. Oh, um, I should have put it right here. It doesn't matter, though. Okay, so now we're going to take and close these panels. And I'm going to show you why we did the glue like that. And I hope that's an old question about zooming in because I cannot zoom in. <laughs> Deb was going to tell me to check my elbow. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Char. I actually got this. It's getting kind of um, pilly, and I don't like that. But I actually got it at the Mall of America when I was up there with my mom after Christmas one year. And it was really inexpensive, like 20 bucks. And it's one. It's really, really soft. Char said she really likes my sweater. Okay, so now what you're going to do is you're going to take the score line. There's a score line right here. And you're going to push it up against that edge. Do you see what I'm doing there? Now you see what's happening inside here? So you're gonna push it up against this edge and I'll show you in just a second here. I'm gonna bring my bone folder in and push that down. So then here's what we have. And then you're gonna do the same thing on the other side and if you need to just push your fingernail in there to make sure that it's creasing right in that corner 
and that this part right here is getting all the way to the outside. And what I recommend and what I always do is use some old paper you don't care about to make your sample. And that's what I always do when I'm figuring this stuff out. I go downstairs and I get some of my retired designer series paper because I don't use it anymore. And that's what I make my mock-ups out of before I start cutting my good stuff, right? <laughs> we're kind of funny that way, aren't we? It's like, oh, don't do that, but we're not paper hoarders. Just say no. <laughs> Put your fingernail in here. Make sure that you're getting that right into that little corner so that's where it's gonna fold at. And then just push it up to the side. See what I've done? And then I'm gonna bring in my bone folder and burnish all of these edges really good. And this is our cute little purse. Now, the sides here, we're just gonna push in with our fingers and then we're gonna kinda bend them so they look just like that. <gasps> is this not the cutest little thing? Yeah, let's finish it. All right, I have got some pieces here. So I've got some berry burst pieces and I'm going to just attach these to the front of my little purse. I like to push them up just a little bit so that I don't see that white edge sticking out. I don't like that. And then I'm doing it on both sides and this will give your little purse a lot. Um, it'll be sturdy and it'll finish that inside edge. With I, I, I just thought, eh, as long as I'm doing this, why not? Now, mine aren't cut quite right. These are a half inch by four, because that's how big the front of our little purse is. And I'm gonna do the same thing here. One's gonna be the front, one's gonna be the back. But this is just a way to kind of dress it up a little bit, make it look really nice. And then we'll do it here too. Lisa just gave me a great big heart. Thank you, Lisa. Just wait till you see this finished. It's, it is adorable. And then I'll show you what I put in it. Okay. There we go. Okay. So here's our cute little purse. Next, I'm going to take a scrap of Berry Burst. And then, I don't remember what this punch is called. Do you guys remember what this punch is called? some type of a little tag punch or something. I'm gonna punch out two of these. And it folds in the middle like this. I'm gonna kind of force it to be even here. I'm scrolling up on me. Here we go. Marianne just joined. Okay, now you guys are gonna tell me what that punch is called, right? Tad punch. Oh, thanks, Rose. I think you're right about that. Okay, I've got two of these here, and I want this to be good and sturdy, so I'm just going to glue them together. And you don't have to do this. I don't know why I'm so weird about that, but I think I'm doing it because the last time I opened up the, um, <laughs> the purse that I got from Linda, I tore the tab, and it really made me sad. So I thought, oh, I'll just make it a little more sturdy. All right, tear and tape. Did anybody? Oh, here it is. So tear and tape is a super, super strong adhesive, and I want to make sure that my little tab doesn't fall off. So I'm going to use tear and tape to stick it on to my purse. Okay? That's what I decided I was sticking in here. So I just got a little bit on that one tab, and I'm going to... Oh! Do you know what I did? I forgot to put my ribbon handles in here. <laughs> Well, we'll just keep going. I'll tell you all about it. I did that on the first one I made too. So I'm just gonna put this in the middle. And so my little um, straight part here is right under the edges. Is Linda watching? Did she see what I was doing? <laughs> I know she probably did. We'll figure out something else, don't worry. But I should have put my ribbon in underneath these pieces and I completely forgot about it because I was just having too much fun. Okay, I did that. Now I need Velcro. And 
if you're a crafter, you have Velcro at home. Um, I have black Velcro, I have white Velcro, I have clear Velcro. This is the clear stuff, and I really do like it. So I'm going to just take a half a circle. So this is the bristly side. This is the soft and smushy side. And I used to always struggle with putting these on because how do you get them lined up and da da da. And I'm gonna put the white one on underneath the tab here. So this is gonna go like this. So I'm gonna put this white one right here. Then what you do is you take the other one that's going to stick to it and you put it right on, you stick it to that one on the bristly side, right? And then you bring it right in here. Close it! Oh, I know, right? <laughs> okay, then these faceted gems are the bomb for this little purse. Library tab, Lisa says. Yes, thank you, Lisa. There's a whole set that goes with it. It's just the cutest little thing. So this is a good place to use some of these big embellishments. And I'm going to put this right here. Oh, no, it looks like my little thing is crooked. There we go. Okay. Oh, it's wiggling around a little bit. And then we got to figure out... Oh, let's do this next. This is a really cool technique with this label. Now we use that label on our um, card. Now we're gonna do it a little bit different. Where'd my ink pad go? Right here. We're gonna do it a little bit different on here. So, in this stamp set, needle and thread, it says, happiest birthday to you. Well, I just want the to you part because I want to make a tag for my little purse. So I'm just going to ink up the to you part and I'm going to stamp it way down at the end. Just like that. Whew, that was tricky. <laughs> it really wasn't that bad, but lots of things could have gone wrong. As have other things tonight, right? So, I'm going to bring in my Big Shot now, and this is why I actually put the washi tape on this die. I've already die cut this, right? But now you can take this and you can, let me see how am I going to do this. No, 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 no. You can bring it down here like this and you can just kind of line it back up so it's right in the die and make any size or length label that you want. And that's, this washi tape is really good for holding that in place. Isn't that a nifty little tip? Here we go. Okay, check this out. <gasps> there we go. Yeah, so you can make any length that you want. I wanted a little tiny tag to go on the purse. And I'll bring back in that twine again. And I'm just going to tie it right in here. I'll just cut off the length of it. You're gonna wrap this around the handles we don't have but we're gonna get some right now. Okay, I think what I'm gonna do, I wanted to use this, and I wanted to use the lemon lime. You guys ever have trouble getting these ribbon rolls open? So what I try to do is squeeze my hands down in here so you can get that wrap to pop up. So you can get your scissors in there and open these little buggers up, because sometimes I can spend a long time fighting with them. I don't know if you've ever had that problem, but ugh, it's horrible. Okay, so there's there's lemon lime in here, which is going to match this, and I love lemon lime together. Oh, we need six inches. Six inches, two times. 
one, whoops, one, two. Okay, so here comes our six inches of ribbon. Now, I would have laid this into some um, tear and tape on the other side of this little piece. But since I don't have that option right now, I'm going to use a mini glue dot just so I can show you the finished product here, which isn't nearly as neat and tidy as I would like it to be. But since I forgot, <laughs> this is what we have to do. Okay. But otherwise, use tear and tape under these little half inch pieces and you can add this ribbon right inside here. So hang on a second. I'll show you. Okay, so it would go in between. <laughs> Look at how cute it is. <gasps> yeah. Okay, let me do this side. I'm going to have to give this to somebody who isn't going to yank on these handles. <laughs> Who's that going to be? Certainly not going to be Steve. All right, and then I kind of like to hold these together so I can try and get them to be matching or pretty close. There we go. Push this together over here. Yep, that looks perfect right there. Okay. What do you guys think? <gasps> All right, what's blood? little girl turns seven next month and she'll love this little purse. She will love it. This would be great little party favors for a birthday party for all of her friends. You can put a little lip, like a little chapstick or a lip smacker thing in here. I'll show you in a second what I have in mind. Because, you know, as an adult, oh, I could get like some Burt's Bees with some color in it. That's a nice little gift to give to a friend, right? Um, Burt's Bees lip gloss. Okay, I'm going to trim this off a little bit. Boop. Here's our little tag for the front. And then on the inside, show you what I did here. Linda had sent me some Tic Tacs, and I'm going to put a gift card in here. How cute is that? Look at that. Oops, let me get my tag turned around. Ah, isn't that just adorable? Do you want to see the other one that I made? Hi, Haley. Hang on, i got to move my comments up. If I miss something, I don't know what's going on. I don't know why my computer won't load them right, but I'm not going to worry about it. The, the important part is that you guys are here, and I'm here, and we're stamping, right? Oh yeah, wedding colors, bridesmaids gifts. What did Haley say? I missed her comment. Oh, okay. Here comes the next one. Where's my sample card? Right here. So we've got Berry Burst. How about Highland Heather? And here's my little Highland Heather purse to go with that. What do you guys think? Pretty cute? Yeah. Thank you so much for showing me the love. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to click on that share button. That really helps me out. If anybody asked any questions that I missed, um, please ask again. This is our organdy ribbon combo pack. You get all five rolls with five yards each on them for free during celebration with your $50 order. So this can be one of your celebration options. Needlepoint Nook Designer Series Paper. Absolutely gorgeous. And here is the stamp set and all the framelits. This is a fantastic bundle. I just love it. So, so pretty. Okay, you guys. I'm going to look and see. Oh, is that gum? Is that what that said? Tic Tac gum? <gasps> it is gum. Look at that. It's fresh mint. Sugar free. Yeah. Well, I'll be darn. I just think it's cute. <laughs> and I knew that I could make a really cute purse just like Linda's. Whoops, got that crooked. There we go. So now I have two cards and two little purses. And then we have this stinking sweet little skunk card. 
Now, don't forget when you're placing your orders to use the host code. This is my January code. You can always find this on the right hand column of my blog. You just go to my blog right here, scroll down and look for host code and you'll find this code. Use that on your orders. That gets you some special perks with me. I have to tell you guys that I will not be live next Sunday. Um, I will, however, be making something for you on a Kelly's Facebook Live Not Live so that you don't miss out on your fun Sunday night, right? I don't want to abandon you. So I will be... Um, I'll have something scheduled to post at 7 p.m. Central Time, just the same time that I come on live. And I think you're going to really like it. I've got a couple things under my sleeve. One of them is going to be a home decor item. Okay? You don't want to miss that because it's really cool. And um, I will be uh, checking all questions and um, emails and Facebook messages and all that kind of stuff. I just will not be home to be live, but I will be Facebook Live, not live, right? Okay, don't forget, celebration lasts until the end of March. If you would like to join my team of discount shoppers or business builders, I'd love to have you on board. I provide a ton of stuff for my team members. Um... I love, love, love my job, obviously. I think everybody can tell that. But um, it's a lot of fun to be on my team. And that discount shopper kit, $175 worth of stuff for $99. You also save $17.50 because there's no shipping on it. Um, is a fantastic deal. So if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask me. Again, you can go to my blog. The right-hand column, click on $99 kit, and that'll answer almost all of your questions. There are no, there are, there's nothing hidden. There are no strings attached. There's no downside to ordering this kit. Once you order the kit, you then get to order all of your orders at a 20% discount. Um, and that's when you can get celebration items. Like we get the same benefits as customers. So as a demonstrator, when I put in my order and it hits $50, I get free stuff. Um, when I place an order and something's 25% off, I then get an additional 20% off the sale price. Let's make that clear because I said that wrong the other day. But I get an additional 20% off and you have the ability to get up to 38% off. That's what my discount is because I'm a business builder and the more that I sell, the bigger discount I get. So um, whether you're in it for the discount or whether you're in it to build a business or maybe you just want to um, do something on the side because you need a new car and you don't want to take out of your family budget or your daughter has dance lessons or your son has expensive hockey um, team fees. Um, this is a way for you to earn a little extra money if you want to, or you could just continue to be a discount shopper. Either way, I support my team no matter what they want to do. I have a lot of demonstrators under me. My um, retention rate for my team members is extremely high, and I would say that probably the majority of them are discount shoppers. So just keep that in mind. Discount shopping is wonderful. I also provide a um, Facebook Live meeting. We have a monthly team meeting where uh, we do door prizes and I give away lots of stuff. And um, we have demonstrations that will never be shown to the public. It's just for my team. That's a lot of fun. Um, yeah, good stuff. Did I miss anybody's questions, you guys? Because I think that we're done. It's 824. All right, so I'm going to sign off. Remember, 7 p.m. Central Time next Sunday, January 27th. I will post a Facebook Live, not live. And if you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to ask because I will be um, monitoring your questions and stuff. I'll be able to do that. Have yourselves a fantastic week. Bye-bye.